These little guys, yeah. hungry caterpillars, not like the storybook that you read to your kids. This one's pretty bad. The hungry caterpillars are invading a Leander neighborhood. Yeah, they're eating your plants rather than some of your sweet treats. These are thousands of army worms, as they're called. They've popped up almost overnight. And now some residents have reached out and they are trying to figure out what's going on in my yard. The man who's looking into that for us is Nabil Ramana. So uh, what's the situation here? Well, you were saying that you might have some in your yard. You yeah. got to double check that I before will. this is over. But caterpillars, well, they don't do much. These specifically when they are small and only few numbers, but when they grow to about an inch and a half, and there's an infestation, that's when they can devastate plant life in your yard. Now, take a look at this video. You can see hundreds of green and yellow caterpillars feasting on this viewer's yard in the Larkspur neighborhood. Usually they eat grass, but if given the opportunity, vegetable gardens and crops are also on the menu. In this case, the residents tell us they or her grass was green, but it turned brown, and that's when she noticed something was wrong. And whenever I was walking across the patio to go through the yard, I noticed that the grass looked like it was dying, um, which surprised me because we, you know, put a lot into the lawn. <laughs> and so my eyes kind of adjusted and I saw that like on every single blade of grass, there was a worm. <clears throat> Now, usually outbreaks take place in late summer or early fall, but the weather can play a big part when these infestations take place. Rain can also contribute to the increased numbers, and experts tell us the rain can actually help with egg survival. It can also delay predators from feeding on the eggs. The good news is there are predators. The, the good thing is we have lots of predators that are going to help us with a lot of this stuff. It could be anything from small mammals like you know, armadillos or um, skunks or things like that that would be eating those caterpillars. We also have various insect predators like ground beetles. Now, other people in the neighborhood also experience the army worm infestation. Brown tells us once those caterpillars eat their fill, they form a chrysalis, then turn into moths, and that could be the next problem. You heard, though, that there are predators out there like armadillos. I think uh, there's no army worms in my yard because I think there's an armadillo. That's Do you have, okay, well, I, I see I, little uh, holes in the yard. I so never that's thought why, I'd say yeah. you'd be happy. I'll take that over a skunk right. in my yard, that's though. True. That's a true. Absolutely. And the fact that they don't even become butterflies, they become a new problem when they're moths. That, uh, that's right. The yeah. swarm of moth is next. So if you're watching, beware. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely animal. All right. Thank you, Nabil. I know you found out about this story when a viewer wrote in sending an email. You can do that always by reaching out to report it at KXAN.com. Okay, give you some context here because we thought this was really interesting. Texas A&M scientists think it's really interesting as well. They're actually declared war on the fall. The army worms, um, they decided to do this back in February. A professor there received nearly $500,000 to track these worms' behaviors and genomic traits. And then that way they can figure out how they can control the pests. The project's going to last three years. It's like a science project in someone's mm. backyard. And I'm glad that they're doing this because... If this happens to you, which we have maybe two people here that this has yeah. happened to you, yes. maybe you at home, getting rid of it means either having a dillo, an armadillo, <laughs> or a skunk in your yeah. yard. And I don't know if you want to do no, that. No, that's a. I'm another. getting a diller. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a diller. I just so there's no benefit, right? Like it's okay to. The worms? Put them in I don't think heaven there's a or whatever. Of these no, lines. okay, no. okay. Because I like sandblasting them with a hose <laughs> on my wall, but I wasn't sure. It, to me, it's well, just. Interesting, mm -hmm. they will go from your grass to your vegetable garden when they keep getting more and hungry. And then to your house. I'm just kidding. Uh, no. <laughs> I did I burn your you. house down. I told you there was a moth in my closet. Like, I've already started the process. Circle it's over life. from here. <laughs>